Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial with PSD Box. Today I have a night editing tutorial for you. Uh, in particular, how to edit the Milky Way. You can still have lots of images on the internet uh, of, Milky, of the Milky Way, uh, those bright colors. And truth is, from the camera you cannot get a shot like what you see there. And lots of people think that that's because they use really expensive cameras and really expensive lens. And in part, that's true. You can uh, get good results uh, using good lenses and good cameras. But uh, just in terms of noise and, and dynamic range, not on the colors and what you see there. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn an image like this into something like this. Uh, maybe this is a bit extreme, but just so you can see how far you can go editing the image. You'll have this raw file on my website. You can download it using the link that you have uh, see on the video description or uh, on my website there you'll find the link that uh, allow you to download this raw file. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So this is the image that I took I think about two years ago, I, I don't remember, in 2016 or 2015, I don't remember. And it's not the best night photo that I took. I used um, my camera, which is a Nikon D7100, uh, and uh, I used the Tokina lens, 11 mm millimeters at ISO 1600, as you can see, at 30 seconds uh, of exposure. And the image is not very very sharp it's not um, in focus 100% but anyways and you can see lots of artifacts I didn't took any I didn't take any kind of uh, dark frame or anything like that it's just a simple shot but you can see uh, I want to show you how you can still get something nice uh, from this so let's start editing this we're gonna start with the bottom part um, I don't have I don't I didn't take two exposure I should have done that to illuminate the house but anyways so I'm going to start with the brush tool. So, so select the brush tool and if you press the O key on the keyboard uh, or click your show selected mask overlay, when you paint you will see this area gets painted and make sure you check the um, auto mask. This will ensure that you're not painting over areas that have that are too bright. So in other words, uh, it sticks to contrast area areas. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to choose Erase and just get rid of this part over there and right over here. Okay, now we're good to go. I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want to see the overlay. And basically what I want to do is increase the exposure here. Let's leave the clarity how it was and also the shadows just a bit and probably drop the highlights. And I'm going to shift a bit the tint because it has um, this um, magenta tone which I don't like. So I'm going to leave it like that just to have a bit of light on the house. Now let's deal with the Milky Way. Let's get the brush tool again and here what makes the Milky Way stand out a lot is the clarity setting. That's the trick. And we're going to edit this in Photoshop as well, but uh, let's make a few adjustments here. If you don't have Lightroom, you can still do this, do this using Camera Raw. So just open this raw file in Photoshop and you'll get the same adjustments. And with the brush, just paint over the Milky Way like so. Oops, let's not move that. Simply paint over the area, especially here on the bottom, and increase the clarity. You can also increase the highlights, but I, sh you should not make adjustments that um, you want to have a um, soft transition. So don't do stuff like this. Okay, it's not it's not looking good. So just play with the clarity and maybe a bit with the highlights, and maybe a bit with the contrast as well and the shadows and the whites. Uh, we're gonna enhance this a lot more in Photoshop, you'll see that. Okay, so now that we're, now that we're done with that, you can even give it a tint, um, not advisable. So yeah, you can increase the saturation though. So I'm gonna leave it like that, probably increase the sharpness of it. And with the dehaze, you can 
uh, add more contrast, but it's gonna colorize things, so not advisable either. So I'm gonna click OK, uh, done. Now, I'm gonna increase the clarity of the overall image. Ch check that, okay? And increase the vibrance, not too much, and the saturation. If you don't like the tint of the sky, what you can do is use the temperature here. Something like that, and probably a little bit more of green, like that. You should get a sort of a um, warmer tone actually, instead of this um, cold tone that we had uh, previously. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, with the luminance, you can add more, you can add brightness to some parts, for example, on the blues here, but we're gonna do this uh, in Photoshop. So here, this is all everything that I would do. Anyways, we're gonna come back to Lightroom after we're done in Photoshop. So I'm gonna right click and choose Edit In and choose Photoshop CC. You can choose your Photoshop version that you have. Uh, you can use any version, uh, Photoshop CS6 or CS5, whatever, it doesn't matter. And this is our base image. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a copy with Control Command J. And now I wanna make the Milky Way stand out even more. So I'm gonna go to Filter, Other, and choose High Pass. There are lots of way of editing this. This is just my way of doing it. So here, what you wanna do is increase the radius until you start to see those gas clouds lighting up. See that? Around here. For this canvas size between 70 and 100 or something like that. I'm gonna leave it to 90 and click OK. And now I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay. Uh, this will make things uh, stand out a lot more, but too much. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we only need it here on the Milky Way. So I'm gonna create an inverted layer mask with Alt click on the layer mask icon to like to create a black layer mask and now I'm gonna get the brush to and paint with white with an opacity of 50 and flow 20 paint over the Milky Way only with this soft brush okay to make it stand out a bit more like that and now we're good to go let's continue uh, if you have too many stars and you don't want to see that many what you can do is just uh, curse, for example, it's a bit tricky. Um, I, I think there are some actions out on the internet um, that will allow you to get rid of some of the stars, but you can do it with, uh, with a curves yourself. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Invert the layer mask, and now with the brush tool, with white, you can paint with this soft brush to get rid of some of those stars and darken the sky a bit. Uh, this is just a really quick, uh, cheap way of getting rid of stars, but anyways, um, and my computer is running really, really slow. I don't know why the hell is doing that. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it like that, not continue because it's not working too, uh, uh, as expected. So let's move on and start adding some light. I'm gonna create a new layer and this is another trick to get bright Milky Ways. Create a new layer and set the blend mode to color dodge. And I know many of you will not agree with this because they will say it's fake, but I'm sure many of the guys out there do it that way. So basically what you do is select a, a gray color like this and on the color dodge blend mode use the Use the same opacity on flow 50 and 20 color dodge and with this gray color just paint over the Milky Way. Oops, that brush was too big. Smaller brush, just paint over the area where you have some lights there. And that's pretty much it. If you want to add color, simply saturate things a bit and you'll get color as well. So you can add some color with this blend mode as well more saturated. Um, keep in mind that I'm also working on 16 bits, that's why my computer runs slow, now that I think of that. Okay. Um, the colors that I just painted here are horrible, so maybe it's better not even using them. Okay, something like that, I don't know. And next I will add 
a you can even add a screen blend mode if you want For, if you want to illuminate the house you can use the same um, layer and just paint over it like that and here maybe even on this um, this is actually light pollution light contamination okay like so and now some effects uh, using I like color lookups a lot so I would probably use this uh, crisp uh, winter on um, on the original PSD file that you can download you will see the actual adjustments that I created are not the same that I'm using here but anyways now I'm gonna add a new one and use probably this one because I like how it looks this green touch to it and this is just simple editing you can go into much more detail and just um, uh, going into a lot more detail to create this but anyways now I'm gonna create a levels adjustment because I want to add more contrast here between these clouds doing something like this and now I'm gonna invert the layer mask again and paint with white only on the areas where I want I'm gonna activate the transfer okay and just paint here only on the Milky Way with white okay increase the contrast there see that and that's pretty much it you can add curves if you want as I said here the possibilities are only limited by your own creativity and your own ideas something like that and maybe on the green I want to have some more magenta some more um, reddish tones like that too much and on the red I could add more cyan on the shadows like that. well let's not touch the red and leave it like that okay now the good thing about this is that if I save this as it is because remember I did not unlock the layer if I just press control command save this will save the image and if I go back to Lightroom you will see that another image will appear here and I can continue editing it in Lightroom so let's wait for this to save it and done now check it out see it appears back here in Lightroom as a copy of the original and I can continue modifying this using the clarity maybe uh, vibrance uh, obviously this is too saturated so I would go to to the HSL on the uh, saturation and probably drop down the saturation a bit and also the lightness of, of the yellows and and the oranges and that's how you can continue editing uh, this thing maybe add some split tone like that here um, it's not bright enough I think at least for my taste so I would probably increase the whites like that and I don't know uh, change the shadows and here on the camera calibration you can change the color theme of, of your of your image I don't know it's not looking as good as this one I think this one looks a bit more natural even though it's still saturated but anyway this is how you can retouch the Milky Way remember we started from this let's reset so this is the image straight, for, straight from the camera and this is my edit um, I know many people would say that this is exaggerated but anyways this is just showing you how you can edit this whether you do it or not or make it as extreme as this it's really up to you so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reply to comments saying that this is fake or something like that. Um, that's how I edit Milky Way images. If you want more night photos, um, editing and stuff like that, uh, just post a comment on the video or on my website, and I will be glad to to make more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.